Diesel fumes from thousands of vehicles fill the air in Nairobi. The city's road network was designed for 300,000 people, but has to cope with 4 million. Stefano Boko and his company Mathri Root are working on a solution. I think everyone can relate to issues around you know, being stuck in traffic. When you're stuck in traffic and you don't know why, and you actually spend more than a couple of hours every day um, you know, stuck in traffic, it can be very frustrating, one, also very stressful, um, and it's actually a waste of time. Mathri Route is a crowdsourcing platform. Locals can share alerts about road accidents and traffic jams. Using the app, Twitter feeds or a Google map, users learn which areas to avoid. Because the smart traffic system is financed by advertising, it's free of charge for everyone. We can just type in the name of the road that we're interested in, and the latest updates coming will actually be um, updates for the specific road that we're interested in. So this way we can actually plan our journey before, beforehand. For Kenyans, the heavy traffic jams are not only a waste of time and fuel, but also of productivity. The traffic congestion costs the city hundreds of millions of dollars every year. So making the traffic flow again benefits both the economy and the environment. Mathri Root has gathered over 600 followers so far. Taxi driver James Mumbui is one of them. He says he could not survive without the information. There's always been a major problem with traffic in Nairobi. So my friend introduced me to Mathri Root. The app works because when there's heavy traffic, it helps me avoid the congestion. By posting comments or rating the drivers of the Matatu public minibuses, users also help others to make good choices. The Kenyan government has now joined forces with the platform to create a better traffic solution for its citizens. This is a constant challenge. Uh, it's not something that actually stops, uh, but we were getting a lot of feedback from our users on a regular basis and we also and we use that to actually improve our, uh, our solution and make sure that it actually serves them. Stefano Boko's company has already received several awards. Now he's planning to expand to other African countries.